coral reefs cover only 1% of the planet, but half a billion people depend on them. And when I dive on a reef, I just float in awe and in humility. Sometimes I flirt with fish. And, and other times I'm crying because I, I see all that life, that amazing biodiversity, but I know that before we die, 99% of all reefs on the planet may be dead. <laughs> Coral reefs are dying everywhere because of climate change, overfishing, and pollution. And right now, millions of people are losing their food source, income, and their coastal protection. And there are scientists trying to get corals more resistant, but, but once a reef is dead like this, it cannot recover. Dead reefs get slimy, and they lose their surface structure that new corals would need to regrow the reef. In my research, I'm trying to rebuild those support structures that young corals need to start a new reef. We call those new structures engineered reefs. To reproduce, corals release eggs into the water column, where these tiny larvae develop that are just swept away with the currents. And only if they find a structure with spaces to hide and hold on to, that's when they settle down and they become these tiny baby coral polyps. And it's the details in the structure that matter for the survival of those baby corals. Think of it this way. If you wanted to climb this mountain, the overall shape may determine the weather, but it's the structure in the rock that you have to hold on to in order to actually get up there, right? And for the baby corals, it's similar. They need the details in the structure for their survival. So for us, the most important thing is to find out what those details need to look like. We are creating digital designs of very small structures based on knowledge of how young corals interact with these structures. We can then 3D print them from biocompatible material to experimentally test exactly what parts of the structure the young corals like. Do they like the holes or maybe the sides here? Should the holes maybe be larger or the edges sharper? And once we find that perfect structure, we can cover huge artificial engineered reefs with that structure and actually make them work. With the Scholar Award, we could immediately start with the experiments, both in the lab and in the field. Our results will be open source straight away so that we and others can start building more resistant reefs as fast as possible. I believe that if we start now, in five years' time, we can build engineered reefs that allow corals to come back for their own sake and for the sake of our children so they too can flirt with the fish. Thank you. Thank you, Ulrike, for this very amazing idea. I would like to see the coral reef right here, right now. Can you maybe print it up backstage? Oh, I left it at home. Sorry. Too bad. Um, OK, so we have a question from the jury, if I understand correctly. Anne Toppinen, go ahead. Thank you, Ulrike. Uh, from a sustainability point of view, I think your presentation was really, really fascinating. And uh, the potential is, and the need is uh, huge for finding a solution. However, um, if you think of the open questions and challenges in implementing, can you elaborate a little bit what you see as the biggest um, impossible thing in here? Right. So the biggest challenge is definite in ecosystem and coral reef restoration specifically is scalability. Right now, reefs are being restored slowly with divers mainly that try to tie new fragments of coral, you know, with cable ties. So scalability will also be a thing with this approach as long as 3D printing is still very expensive, for example. We are right now using 3D printing as a tool to test which structures are important. The plan is to then, if you have the optimal structure, you can then talk with engineers, the architects, and uh, producers of new 3D printers 
to see whether there might be a compromise that's easier and cheaper to make. For example, if you find that you need uh, overhangs, maybe can we reduce those a little so, so that we can print silicone, um, what do you call that, like shapes that you can actually cast the reefs instead of printing them. So that could be an option. And the architects that I work with have uh, methods to combine 3D printing and casting already with concrete. So we develop, try and develop those further as well. Yes. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Ulrike. Thank you. A very nice pitch. Right.